Are you learning sales from people who are masters in selling or are they masters in manipulation or maybe a little bit of both? Well, it's important where you are getting your content from, your knowledge from, and I want to share with you today five sleazy, slimy techniques that I myself have personally encountered in the last couple of weeks, last couple of months. And I wanted to share them with you today and um, talk to you about selling with, an in with integrity and not using these uh, manipulative, manipulative techniques, easy for me to say. Um, so, but first of all, I want to preface that with saying learning to sell is one of the most important things that you can do. You need to know the psychology of selling. You need to know um, copywriting. You know how to need to to craft your sales message so that you can actually sell your knowledge, your valuable knowledge that you need to share with people, your products, your services that nobody's ever gonna know about unless you learn how to sell. So it's very important to, to consume all this knowledge, good knowledge on how to sell and how to do it with integrity and skip the, mani the manipulation. So let's talk about some of those manipulative tactics. Um, starting with this one, false scarcity or false urgency, okay? Scarcity and urgency, these are great sales techniques if you do it with integrity, if you're really going to do what you say, there, if there's real urgency, if there's real uh, scarcity, but this is what I've been running into. And tell me in the comments if you have guys have been running into these same types of things. So, um, for example, buy now or the price will increase and it never increases. Uh, the door will shut for this opportunity in the next 48 hours, but the door never shuts, right? Uh, there's only a, no, a limited number of spaces. So this is false scarcity, but there's no limitation that they'll sell to anyone who wants to buy for as long as they want to buy. So these are great tactics. If you're really gonna do what, you're, what you say you're gonna do, you're really gonna increase the price. You're really gonna shut the door to your opportunity. There really is a limited number of spaces. Great tactics to use if you do it with integrity and you do what you're gonna say. Um, so one of those sleazy little tactics that I've run up against, my guess is you have too. Uh, webinars. Now, this is a lot of times this is a bait and a switch. Um, so what they'll do is they'll say, we're going to provide you with this specific type of content for an hour at this webinar. So you go to this webinar expense, expecting this valuable content. And what you get instead is a sales presentation, an hour long sales presentation to sell you, try to get you to buy the content that they said that they were going to give you, um, in this webinar, which they give you, you know, just a smidge and if you really want the content, buy our product, okay? And what really gets me and blows my mind is people still buy from these things. And I don't get that, but I guess that's just me. If you've experienced that, if you've experienced that, let me know in the comments. Another thing that happens, and oh, actually, let me ask you this question. And this is actually just for feedback for myself. Um, personally, I don't really care for webinars. They're not personable enough for me. I like the touchy-feely kind of, um, well, if you're in an online environment, like a Zoom call, so I can see you, you can see me. It's much more uh, personable sales uh, types of, type of platform. Um, that's the, that is the, what I prefer. Tell me um, in the comments if you prefer, prefer these webinars where there's no contact, except for maybe in the chat, um, or if you prefer to have, you know, be able to see each other and converse back and forth live on a Zoom chat and uh, on a Zoom, um, in a Zoom room, let me know which you prefer. And that's for just my own general so that I can know for feedback. Um, so false or misleading claims in sales copy. So example, and there are many that I've encountered of this in the last few months, uh, but here's just one example. This one I encountered today, actually, and why I'm doing this recording now. But um, the sales copy said that it was going to be live. Um, 
So what was actually live was the audience, the participants were live, but the person giving the content, that content was actually recorded. And, and then, then that particular content for the first hour was a sales technique that they call is use called proof. And that was for the first entire hour. Okay, I understand the psychology behind that, but it's also our time is just as invaluable as I think their time is. So let's get to the content, all right? So that's one, misleading or false claims in your sales copy. And that's just one of many examples I could have given. Here's another thing that I've encountered. I'm sure you've encountered these things as well. Selling you stuff that has absolutely no value just so they can make a buck. Actual ads that they are actively selling content that or courses that have no value. And this is, I had this happen to me. Um, I bought a course, turned out the course was four years old and it was about um, social media platforms and technology. And because it was four years old, as you can imagine, how quickly things change and how quickly tech changes, changes and how quickly these platforms change, the course material was in, for most part, completely irrelevant and taught you nothing because none of that stuff was actually, actually accurate any longer. Um, so I actually, even on their Facebook ad for this particular course, I said in the comments, I, I said just that. I said, this course is actually four years old and no longer valid, no longer accurate. accurate. And this is kind of integrity they had. They blocked me on Facebook. Okay, so these are the kind of manipulative, sleazy people that you encounter um, selling you. And what I'm trying to tell you is don't use these techniques. Sell with integrity. So another thing, it, this is an actual sales technique, they say. They tell you that they don't care if you buy or that they're really not trying to sell you anything. And this really, actually, this one cracks me up because um, I was just in a challenge. Um, and here I'm gonna tell you several things that actually happened in this challenge that are sales techniques, okay? This was a challenge to sell you something, all right? So they tell you they don't really care if you buy or, <laughs> or um, you know, they're not trying to sell you something. And that's the whole point of the challenge. They're going to give you some content and then they're going to give you a sales presentation. That's fine. You know, that's what they're going to do. Don't tell you, don't tell us you don't care if we're, going to, if we're going to buy. We know that you do want us to buy or you wouldn't be putting in your time and effort for this challenge. All right. Um, so don't do that. It's not actually... A sales technique that I think is useful is manipulative and with no integrity because it's also a lie. All right. So now back up that lie by, um, you know, then they'll flood you with emails that um, fear of missing out emails, you know, buy this opportunity now or you regret it. This opportunity is going away if you don't buy it now. You know, constant emails with that kind of verbiage so that you, you know, you don't want to miss out, you know, arm twisting to try to get you to buy, even though they tell you they don't care if you buy. Well, they really do. Okay. Um, so further along those lines, telling you, and I, I, again, I experienced all of this in this one challenge, that they weren't going to sell you until the very end of the challenge. And they were going to, each hour, you've got a specific amount of time. Okay, so you've got, or you've got one hour of valuable content in that time, and they weren't going to sell you their offer until the end. Okay, that's fine. Um, you know, a sales offer is coming. Well, that's not what they did. Um, or it was misleading. So they said they weren't going to sell to you. Well, they didn't. So instead, they used 15 minutes of testimonials uh, right from the get, 15 to 12 to 15 minutes, and then they gave about 45 minutes of content. So they didn't actually sell you, but they had testimonials selling you for 15 minutes um, in place of them making the actual offer. Um, very manipulative, basically a lie. He said he very misleading. He said he wasn't going to sell you, but he spends 15 minutes of the time he says he's going to give you content by 
starting every every day with 15 minutes of sales. So this is not truthful. It's not with integrity. It's misleading. It's false. Um, don't sell that way. It, it's very, uh, somehow some people don't catch that they're being manipulated. I don't get that. Um, if this is the way that you're going to sell to me, I'm going to shut the door and I'm going to go find somebody, even though you may have valuable content. And these, these are, these are what you would call sales gurus. Okay. They know what they're talking about. They know how to sell and they use these manipulative, manipulative techniques to sell you. Um, and I'm not going to buy from somebody like this. I'm going to walk. I'm going to go to the person who is going to give me the content and not, um, not mislead me, not tell me the truth, not be manipulative. And I'm sure that you're that way as well. That's why I'm talking to you. Um, and here's this final one and there's other ones, but, um, this one, it's serious arm twisting. And, um, I've heard several people who they've all learned from each other now. And so they're all using the same line and it's a load of BS. I'm just going to say exactly what it is. Unless you buy the load of BS, if you believe they're load of BS, then you receive that and then you believe it. And so if you believe it, then it's totally going to work on you. But here, let me get to the point. Um, what they say is, if you um, aren't going to buy my high, and we're, we're talking about high ticket offers here. If you're not going to buy my high ticket offer, then um, you're not ever going to be able to sell your own high ticket offer. And this is a form of, well, this is a lie, first of all, so don't receive that. And the minute somebody says something like that to you, you need to run, not walk away to somebody who's not going to try to coerce you. That is coercive and it is manipulative and it's sleazy and it's not the truth. So um, I'm sure that I'm not the only one who has heard this. And, and like I said, go, even if they have good content, which these people do, that is a lie and you need to go buy from somebody else. All right. So having said all that, and then, and then if you are to actually call out somebody's manipulative tactics, what basically what they'll tell you a lot of times is, oh, it's not me, it's you, or you have a poverty spirit. Okay. Well, I don't know. Maybe sometimes we do have a poverty spirit and we need to learn on, need to learn to work on that. But more often what it really is, is your spirit is rejecting their sleazy manipulative tactics and you're not going to be sold by somebody who's going to use those tactics. And so you close the door. You don't have a poverty spirit. They're just, it's, it's gaslighting is what they're doing. You know, they're not receiving it. Um, they're not hearing what you have to say and they're turning it back on you. You're not the one with having a poverty spirit. How many people have heard that? If you have placed that in the comments as well. So this is my point here. We are, there's a lot of people out there who are teaching you how to sell and they are sales gurus. They use these techniques, a lot of them with integrity, a lot of them that will mix um, manipulation with sales and they're calling it, you know, sales psychology, sales techniques and, and a good part of it is manipulation and not honest and straight out not truthful. Don't be that kind of a seller. You want to sell with integrity and you're going to bring the right people to you. You have been created with a purpose. You need to hone your sales techniques. It takes time because it is a learned skill. Some people do just fall off the truck and they can open their mouth and they just speak gold. All right. Most of us have to learn these techniques. So be careful who you learn from. Find somebody with integrity. Find somebody who doesn't make your spirit go, mm, you know, I'm being manipulated. Find somebody who's going to teach you. And you can, there's books out there. There's a vast amount of content on YouTube. There's people who sell and teach you with integrity. 
search those people out and then model what those people do. They're, the way they sell with integrity. Don't model what these, these manipulation, manipulative tactics that these people who do not sell with integrity use. Um, so I hope you found this insightful and useful. Um, if you're following me on YouTube, please uh, push that subscribe button and the notification button, and I will see you again on the next video.